This video shows how to make a mould uh, for making compound parabolic uh, solar cookers and how to use simple tools to make this mould in an appropriate technology manner. So the first thing is I have a T-square and I have a piece of string attached to the T-square and I use a pencil held against the T-square to draw a line uh, sorry, a curved line which I will use, um, which I will cut along to make a curve for making my parabola. So the focus of the parabola is uh, the end of the line, and um, you see that line up there going up, it's at 22.5 degrees. So my compound parabola will be connected at the end of that line, and um, so the total parabola length will be, uh, or sorry, it will be a 45 degree uh, parabola. Here is the um, base on which I'm going to make my cob dome. So there's some of the tools, I leveled it and then I put on the piece that I had cut to the curve in the middle and um, the next stage is um, attaching or putting um, uh, rocks around it under the dome and bringing the rocks closer and closer to the dome until the rocks um, come um, right up uh, close to the dome. So here we go, big rocks first, then we add more and before you know it you have um, your dome um, very very close to being built. So following that we're going to use cob to um, get right up close to the dome. This is my one meter um, one square meter dish mold. Uh, I've filled it out fairly close to the wood here and I'm going to um, cover this with cob out to the curve. So there's the curve there. So I've got to hopefully have enough cob in this pile over here. I'm going to reuse this and cover it out to the mold. Let me show you how easily the cob goes on. So the camera will move jerkily but if you've seen my videos you'll be used to it. goes on very 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 easily Let's see this might show it clearer So it's about, I guess it's about an hour later now, and I'd just like to show you the next stage. Like This part that I have recently did is still a little bit wet, so I'm just going to leave the camera about there and just play around with a couple of tools to uh, smooth it out a bit. I see a slight spot here and a little spot here and uh, there's a spot here. So I've just added a little more mortar there and then I can use this trowel and 
I did quite a job. Now this trowel is an old one that like, all my tools are currently at a job site. So this one has a, a crack in it. This is why I'm a little uh, worried about using it, but it's working fine. It's an old trowel I use in my garden. But as it gets drier over here, you can get so much of the wood or surface sticking to the wood trowel. And you can try. I think the trowel is just fine to do it, but with this brings the clay to the surface, kind of like if you're doing concrete work. If you work it work it will get a smoother surface. So it's still not quite to where I, I want it, but you can see just how smooth the surface is becoming. And do the work at the right time in the drying of the cob. This side over here is getting a lot of sun and it's become hard, right? but it's still workable enough. And you can, cob is a wonderful material because if it's a little bit dry, You can just add a little water and you're back to a malleable material again. Anyway. I think you get the picture. Hope you do it. I'll do a bit of work on it later on and get it a little bit smoother still. It is, this would be just fine except it's a little rusty. There we go. So now I've got a polished surface on it. So now the cob mold is made and it has to dry for a couple of days. So here we go, it's drying, and uh, the next stage is like a big piece of uh, plastic, it's from a sign, put over it and cut. And I s do one cut and then I slice out the undercut, so along the same line I do another cut, and you get these little strips that you throw away. And then you tape it all together, and um, there you see the undercuts at the bottom. And I, what I did was I put stones around it to stop it from, um, to, to hold it tight. And here it is upside down. Here's the mylar going on it now. And I stuck it on with uh, wheat paste, which is flour paste. And here it is out in the no sun. But um, now the beauty of this system is that at the end, when you're... Um, uh, compound parabolic dish is made you are still left with your mold on which you can make the exact same parabolic dish again and uh, that's the point of the video I believe domes like this could be made in villages all across the world and people could make their uh, parabolic dishes or sorry compound parabolic dishes on them and it would be a great way of um, using simple technology to spread solar cooking. Thank you. Bye.